SF detector milepost 73.5 no defects repeat no defects axles 2 0 length 2 6 8 speed 4 1 temperature 7 9 degrees out I hit the reset button to have the system go into its initial screens. You'll note right now it says hit menu for setup. Well, the menu button is the uh, the top of the three buttons there. And what it allows you to do is to change a number of the settings on the defect detector. Right now you can see the mile marker is set to 73.5 miles. And it's asking me to change the hundreds place. Well, there's nothing in the hundreds place. If I hit up, that'll become a one, then a two, a three, a four, and so on. Let's make it uh, three. Then hit the menu button again. It'll go to tens place. It wants to know if I want to change the seven. Well, let's change that to a nine. Hit it again. Now the ones place. Let's take that down to a one. And next, of course, will be the tenths place. So you can change that five to a four or whatever. Hit the menu again. Now it's going to remind you that the up and down will set. Defects is currently set to 75%, which means three fourths of the time you will get a defect. You can change that up and down. Hit menu when you're done. Scale is set to 96, which is HO. Again, I can change that with up and down. The sound is on. If I wanted to turn it off, I could just hit that. Temperature report is on. If I don't want to hear that, simply turn it off. Length report is on. Speed report is on. Railroad name report is on. Defect detector announcement is on. Mile marker is on. Number of axles is on. And now it's ready. You'll also notice the FM transmitter that's over on the right. That's actually connected to the sound card and it's going to transmit uh, the audio to this scanner that's set to receive on the FM broadcast band so that when we break uh, the beams and start the system going, it will report over that.